it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is today is Sunday, February 20th. Um, this morning I walked four miles and now I'm about to do a quick upper body workout. Um, but as you can see from the title of this video, today I rode what was first gonna be private, but I've decided to make it an open letter to my fat. <laughs> If you've been around well enough, then you know that I, I'm a little woo-woo. So, yeah. Anyways, if you're if you're interested, I don't mind sharing this with you guys. So I'm currently out of my garage right now, and I have the door open, so it's a little loud. So what I think I'm gonna do is my workout, and then I'll also read my letter as a voiceover on top of the workout. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love for you to stick around and let's do this. This is what we have planned for today's workout. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but let's get to it. Also, just so you guys know, in the open, in the letter to my fat, like you guys know, like um, in the medical community, uh, the medical terminology for fat is adipose, it's adipose tissue. So I use the name adipose. So like throughout the letter, when you hear me refer to adipose, to me, I am properly referring to my fat by calling her by, by calling her by her full name. So hopefully you can get down with that. I am just addressing her appropriately, okay? Dear adipose, hey girl, it's Felicia. So here I am in week 38 of my weight loss journey and I was sitting with a cup of coffee trying to strategize the next eight weeks of this weight loss journey. Dude, so like I've hit a plateau and I'm no longer losing weight, but thankfully I'm also not gaining weight either. As I was sitting and thinking of my next move, you crossed my mind. First, I want to acknowledge you. I want to acknowledge that throughout the years, through so many of life's circumstances, the ups, the downs, the joys, the sorrows, I am the one that invited you here. I want to acknowledge that during my times of poverty consciousness and poor food choices, it was me. I invited you here. I acknowledge that during the times of hurt and pain, instead of doing crazy things like drinking alcohol, lashing out at other people, or even verbalizing ex and expressing my truest feelings, or even investing in therapy at the time, I overate. And as a result, I invited you here. At this time, I want to thank you. I thank you for accepting my invitation. I thank you for comforting me when I needed you the most. Specifically, during my first marriage, when I was literally in the best shape of my life, but was told that by my, I'm using air quotes here, perfection in every area of my life, that it was emasculating. You see, health and fitness was the one area that this individual felt seen. So subconsciously, in an effort to save my marriage, I sabotaged the hell out of myself. I started to play small. Adipus, thank you. Thank you for being there. Thank you for the late night binges. Thank you for covering my body and following my subconscious thoughts of making me appear less attractive, less desirable. Thank you for thickening me up a bit and covering my muscle tissue. Even though it wasn't enough, Thank you for allowing him to win. Adipus, now I want to release you. It's time to let you go. I know that this may be just as scary for you as it is for me, but it's time. I've done the inner work. I'm no longer in my 20s. I am now a 40-year-old woman. I'm safe now. I've done the work now. I no longer allow people's words to control me. I know that I am no longer responsible for the lives and dreams or happiness of others. I am solely responsible for me. Adipus, I need you to know that I am smarter now. 
I've learned how to manage money. I've learned how to budget, save, and invest. I've released that poverty consciousness. I no longer need to eat as if the food is going to run out. I no longer have to rely on a diet of ramen predominantly. I no longer have to eat every dish at a family get-together in order to save the feelings of others. Guess what? I now know how to say no with love. Adipus, it's time for me to shed more layers. It's time for me to release more of you. I need you to know that I am not alone. At 40, my relationship with God is so much more beautiful than it was when I was just practicing religion at 25. I now know that without a shadow of a doubt, he's got me. I need for you to trust me. It's time for me to push through my limiting beliefs. The beliefs that all the women in my family are heavy. The beliefs that this is just how I'm built. The belief that this is just how my body is. It's time to push through the beliefs that even in my own community, the ones I have about don't get too small. Adipus, girl, I'm 228 pounds. I am not too small, boo. I need you to trust me in knowing that I won't drop below medical recommendations. But for now, again, we have more layers to shed. Adipus, I love you. I love you for your protection throughout the years. I love you for always wanting to keep me safe. But now I need for you to acknowledge that I am now a more conscious being. I love myself. I truly love myself. My love for myself is no longer tied into how much someone else loves me. But I truly Truly love Felicia. You know, releasing 32 pounds is incredible. Now here's to the next 30 and beyond. Adipus, just as you've done your job, it's time for me to do mine. My job is to continue building my dream life in a body that I love while on a budget that I can afford but also to continue teaching other women to do the same. I can do that with less of you. I no longer need all of you. So girl, here's the plan. I give you permission to be free. I'm no longer holding you captive. Over the next eight weeks, I will be implementing a few different things. Number one, treadmill intervals. You see, I'm now in a season of life where creating the time for long walks is kind of becoming a little inconvenience on the daily. Number two, weight training. And listen, even if the numbers go up on the scale, I'm not stopping. Maybe like at the end of eight weeks, I'll reassess. But I'm not stopping. Number three, I'm also introducing more core work. This is something that I had stopped doing when I had my fibroids. But since then, I haven't really restored that same level of intensity as I was doing before. And now I feel it's safe to resume. So Adipus, girl, I love you. I acknowledge you. I thank you. I appreciate you. But now it's time for me to set you free and to release you. For those of you that are still here in this part of the video, I just want to say thank you all for choosing to be a part of this community. If you stay for this long, please consider hitting that thumbs up button and subscribe as I look forward 
to share more of my 100 pound weight loss journey with you. Until the next time, I'll see you in the next video.